hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new hello welcome my name is Kristen and this is Kristen budgets today's video I'm gonna be checking in with the first couple weeks of July uh, it's time to catch up I've been tracking my expenses I just haven't been doing my weekly check-in um, I've kind of been struggling with some like fighting a bug and so that's kind of just where I've been it's just been kind of down and out we're gonna jump right in I'll kind of walk through and talk through it as we go but I am using an Erin Condren monthly planner and then I use Sarah Marie's stickers for my budget kits um, in my monthly view I like to track five expenses and those are groceries eating out um, parking and personal and also gas so that's what you see here and then I have just some other transactions off to the side um so yeah so let's see here so July 1st I was in Sacramento area visiting family for this weekend um so on my way home I actually picked stopped and filled up my gas tank um so let's just start here because I like to just kind of walk my way through and then I do each category. So we'll just start with gas. Um, also, Prime Day, I picked up a new calculator. Um, I'm really excited. We're going to put it to use today. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Chevron, I spent $39.98. And then over here this Saturday, I was leaving work and I needed gas. So I just put $10.68 in my tank just to get me back over the bridge because gas in San Francisco is just freaking expensive. And then that was good for a couple days. Was that was when I, that, that's when I was sick. So Saturday I woke up with like chills and kind of feverish, a sore throat, just felt like garbage really. And drag my butt to work. I probably should have just called in, but I went to work. Um, luckily, there was a baseball game that day, but luckily we were really like slow and chill. And the shift I work was like first in, first out type of shift. So um, yeah. And then so I called into work Sunday and then I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. Um, so luckily I got sick during these days that I was not supposed to work. So thankful for that. But yeah, so that I got back over to the bridge and then I honestly did not drive my car for these first three days. And then Wednesday I was feeling much better and decided to go out and run some errands. So that's the little breakdown. Um, so then this Wednesday I spent $45.93 to actually like fill up my car and that was at Safeway Fuel. So that's $96.59. And then I'm just going to put this in week two because that's for the first two weeks. And gas, what was it? $96.59. And then if I subtract 200, that leaves me with $103.41 because I budget. 200 every month for my gas so that's totally plenty so if I do 103 41 divided by 2 that leaves me about $52 left for the rest each week and that's totally plenty of money so I'm gonna cross these off real quick oh come on pin <clears throat> next is parking and honestly, I'm like, I feel like I'm killing it with parking this month so far. Well, half of the time I wasn't working. Um, but this day I spent $5.58. And then I had no transactions. And then this weekend there was uh, baseball. And I did end up driving. So this Friday I spent ten fit twenty eighty. Then I spent twenty fifty twenty one fifty. Oh my gosh, Kristen, get your get your ish together. Okay, that's not right. Let's start over. Five eighty eight. Okay, means get used to using this calculator here. <laughs> twenty one fifty. Okay, so that's for the first week. 
And then this, like I said, I was not feeling good. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go to work. And then Friday was, there was actually the Dead & Company. The la Their last tour was at the baseball park all weekend long. But for some reason, because usually if there's like some type of event at the stadium, like parking is just insane, like baseball, concerts, anything like that. So they did not change the meters. So Friday, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I worked all day, like 12 till like 7, 8, 12, 2 to 10, or no, I think when I worked 2, I worked from 2 to 1 a.m. So Saturday was actually a really long shift. Um, these ones were like 8-hour shifts, Friday and uh, Sunday, but surprisingly, parking was really cheap, so I'm excited about that. What did I do? Oh, goodness. So, um, I spent eleven ninety six on Friday and then Saturday four sixty three. And that's from working from I think I went in at three, two or three until one AM. But meters stop at ten, so like that's dope. And then Sunday, there's free parking on Sundays if there's no events, but there was an event. So someone messed up and forgot to change it, but I'm not mad about it. So $64.77 spent on parking. And so if I take, oh wait, did I? Okay, good, I put 200. 200 is what I budget, 64.77 is what I spent, so I have 135.23 remaining. Sweet. Um, okay, moving on. Also, I ha put on a fake temporary tattoo, and one of my coworkers put this on me on Sunday, because it was just, you know, we were having fun at work, and so we had glitter, and temporary tattoos and it was a fun weekend um with all the deadheads in town and yeah good good crowd good fun crowd okay so next is the green and this is going to be my eating out for the month and so this day I went to Starbucks and I got a coffee and that's all for my eating out which is surprising I guess I mean I was out for most of this week so that makes sense. So let's see, four forty-five, and then I budget a hundred, so that leaves me with ninety-five fifty-five. Sweet. And then I actually have plans to go to um, dinner with my girlfriend this weekend, so that'll be good. Okay, so moving on, uh, the yellow this month is going to be for my groceries. This day we went to Costco and it was more than this, but we had returned a Dyson fan that we picked up um, like a month, a month and a half ago or so. Whenever the last time we went to Costco, we got a Dyson fan and it's um, like an air filter fan as well, but it just didn't project a lot of air and living in the bay area we don't have air conditioning and so days when it's hot it's like we need that like airflow push i love that it had like the air filter like air purifier built into it but i'm gonna be looking for a different model because my mom has one and i really like the model that she has because it does have like good air flow like pressure like the pressure is really good you can really feel the air but it still has that like air purifier built into it um so we had gotten one and I actually took it back and returned it but what happened was I was able to get reimbursed for that purchase through my health care program that I have through work and so I had a credit basically so I used that credit from the um from the healthcare thing to pay for it 
And so when I returned it, I had this extra money. So I we used that money to cover most of the purchase um, at Costco. David paid his amount, which was more than this, and then I put 60 towards it so that's that um it was like roughly like 58 something i just round up when it comes to the costco because i just gave david money um so 60 at costco little nice long story there and then i went to trader joe's and got some other things that like my plant-based protein and all that good stuff um and so that was $39.79. And we also do like our creamers there. Um, there's certain other things that we get that we don't get at Costco. And then this Wednesday, the day that I was like feeling good, out running errands, I went to Trader Joe's and stocked up for the week and spent $48. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, I gotta figure out how if I can like delete if it'll just pull it back up so a total of 148.02 on groceries and then i budget 350 so if you take 350 minus 148.02 that leaves me with 201.98 And that is plenty for two weeks. Yeah, that's a hundred bucks a week. So, um, my boyfriend is actually leaving me this week to go see his, uh, father in the Cape in Cape Cod, which I'm super jealous. I didn't go, um, but I will be going to pick up just a few things at Costco's cause we don't really need a lot. Well, I guess I don't need a lot, so we'll have some transaction in here somewhere this week, um, but it won't be, it'll probably be pretty minimal. All right, so that's done, and these are done too. All right, and then next is personal, and that's the last uh, thing I track. So Amazon Day, Prime Day started on Tuesday the 11th, and I have been, I've had a hatch alarm clock in my uh, shopping cart, save for later, for like ever. And so there was a $20 off thing for Prime, and I just did it. I bought it. I've been wanting it for a while, and I was like, you know what? Let's just wait for Prime Day. We'll see what kind of deal, if there's a deal. And it was $20 off. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to do it. So I bought it. So that was $109.99 with the, with the discount. And then Wednesday, I went to Target and I picked up, I had a $10 like card. Like when you spend, you know, $40, you'll get like a $10 gift card, like that type of thing. Um, and then what did I get? I got another type of bonus. You know, they always like have these random like cir target circle bonuses. I had $15 basically in bonus credit and these, uh, rubber made, I forget what they're called, but they're like storage containers for like your food, like for food prep. They were on sale for $19.99. And so I used that $15 credit and then the remaining balance was $5.55. And so that's what I spent out of my own money, um, to buy these new rubber made containers. So I have spent a total of $115. Uh, 54 and definitely over because I only budget personal I only budget a hundred dollars so I'm over 1554 this month so far I don't know if I'm going to be spending any more money I don't know we'll see I hope not but that's why I like doing these weekly check-ins because it kind of gets me aware I knew I was going to be over because I knew this was a little bit pricier um I probably could have just saved for it for the last month, but I totally forgot Prime Day was in July. And this has been like, I'll add it to my car and then I put it to save for later and then I add it and then I save for later. And I just been watching the price and then I rem had all those like, you know, Prime Day's coming and I was like, oh, maybe it'll have a deal. So I just bought it. Um, 
I'm not mad about it. I've been wanting it for a while. I listen to like sleep stories every single night when I go to sleep. I'm an early bird and so I think that it'll definitely be useful for sleeping and for getting me awake in, early in the morning. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, I need to set it up still. And then other than that, I had some protein come through and then I did have to pay. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to pay, but I did not want to take the time to go through and delete all my emails. Um, so I paid for $19.99 for Google Memory for the entire year. So my goal within this next year is to go through and get rid of all my junk emails and clean out my email storage and clean out my photos and then cancel this when it comes to Bentley's dreaming. He's laying underneath my desk while I film and he's sleeping right now. I can hear him like whining. Um, and so, yeah, my goal is to get get rid of all the junk stuff and then not have to renew this because that's just kind of unnecessary. But I was like, wait, why are my emails not coming through? And then I looked and I was like, you're completely full. So, yeah, that's my fault. But that's something I'm going to work on. But yeah, guys, that is it. Um, I haven't had... Oh, we did go to the movies Sunday night. So this night. And um, I bought us some food before we went to the movies. And we went and saw Mission Impossible, which it was good. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was, you know, we love going to the movies. So I always do the food and the boyfriend does the movies. So... But that's it, you guys. Not much else going on. Um, pretty mellow. I had all intentions of filming my actual setup for my July budget. But I, again, I was not feeling good. Um, it, I could not, like, talk. I actually started to sit down and film it. But I could not talk and film and breathe at the same time. Because of, like, how much congestion I was dealing with. But pretty straightforward the same as every month um i will be doing my august budget setup and then i will do do a close out for my july budget so if you guys do like those videos sorry about that but i'm feeling much better so we're getting back on track with filming um and then thursday you'll see my cash stuffing so yeah guys that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed Appreciate you guys sticking around with all my rambling today, um, but I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.